is happening everyone we are back today with another video we've got another small little thing that we're going to be doing to the car uh, we're actually going to be fitting some oh if you might it's ford racing bonnet spacers or razors whatever you want to call them a few of you might be a bit objected to this uh, let's try and get it in there we go so you can see a bit better um Reason being, I have these, I was meaning to do them for quite a while. Um, number one reason is because I quite like the look of them. And the number two reason is that the strut brace actually wears against the bonnet on the left-hand side. So we will be having to space the bonnet up. Otherwise, it's another new strut brace. And I don't really want to do that because it's bad enough that I've got to get it powder coat again. So this is my quick solution. And thanks to... Dom, aka Black Yellow Fez, because I wouldn't have these if it wasn't for him. Because the sort of deal we had was I video his car and he gets us some nice little spaces um, in return for for doing the ST and seventy brakes. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm hoping these don't give me too much grief because with the bonnet struts you need spaces anyway, and the bolts that they give you are quite long and the spaces are quite thick. And obviously the bolts that come with this kit come out a fair way, but I'd probably say about this much out of the spacer. So I'm hoping that we have enough room. Otherwise, it's a trip to the fasteners to get some new bolts. But anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so we'll start off with the um, driver's side first. Hopefully I've got a Allen key bolt socket that fits it, which I do. Okay, for, so if you've got standard, um, like you haven't got none of this, then you'll just need uh, 10 mils for anyone who's wondering. Okay, so this is where it'll probably get a bit fun. move it out of the way okay and as you can see there's where it's been rubbing against the bonnet and there it is on the bonnet so I want to get the bonnet painted on the inside and there's no point doing that if um, it's just rubbing away a bit of space so make sure it's the right way around Knocked you guys over there, sorry. Okay, this is where it gets a bit a bit fun to say the least. So let's get this back. I'm gonna pull I might pull this uh this bracket off because this is gonna give me some grief I reckon. Right, let's get one of these new bolts. Let's get a spacer. We will put that through there, put the spacer through, come in, and guess what? My problem has occurred, the bolt ain't long enough. Fantastic. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, so we've had a bit of a howler here. Um, Got one side done, as you can see. Bonnet is now raised, obviously it's open at the front. Um, I accidentally made one of the bolts too long, so it's now bloody cracked the bonnet. So I wanted to get it painted anyway, so I'm not too mad about it. And I also found out that my windscreen's cracked. I don't know whether that's because I may have dropped this, I don't know, I was quite careful. I put some of the bubble wrap underneath. Um, but yeah, it's it's got a nice crack in it, so. The heated screen don't work anyway, so I suppose we'll get that changed too. Might as well fucking add to the shopping list. Okay, so let's um, get this other side out.
we'll just nick the washers make sure we've got some new ones there we go okay and I'll just leave this one here for the minute right make sure this is reading the correct way up What? Okay, we'll get our bracket get through like that. Then we'll get our spacer this way. And then what we'll do is leave that like that. Bit, I reckon just to line it up. So that can go back up very slowly. going to annoy me because it has been the whole time getting that spacer in and lining up that seemed to have gone right, let's line up So, if you don't have these um, bonnet struts, it would literally just be a case of obviously take your 10 mils out, replace the bolts with the new ones, and obviously fit your Ford racing or your spacers in. With my ones, I've got to obviously replace the uh, plastic spacer in there, obviously washers as well. So yeah, it's a bit more long for me, but we got there in the end, so I'm just going to fit this strut, which is the hardest part, in my opinion. Oh, that side weren't as bad, the driver's side is really, really heavy to do. Okay, and then we'll fit the clip back in, like that. Oh my god. I know what broke my windscreen. Because we've spaced it out and them struts want to go all the way. And um Yeah, it's just done it to the other side now because I could hear it cracking. So <sighs> mate, why are things so difficult at times, honestly? So I might just uh Well, I might have to just get one of them things that limit the bonnet travel, so 
get it to open about here and just stop it. I don't need much head, head height in the engine bay. But yeah, like they normally click to like there and there. Probably do it to about here. It's enough room. Okay, so had a little revamp on all this nightmare. Um, because the thing is, we couldn't adjust the bonnet up. But I managed to, I mean, it will just about touch it, so I might just have to get one of them limiters, as I said before, where it just goes from here to here just to stop it. Um, but I spoke to Luke on the phone, and he came up with the idea of actually uh, getting rid of the plastic washers that are in between and running the plate behind instead of in front um, and what that basically did is allow the bonnet not to travel as far and allow me to actually adjust the bonnet because with them washers and stuff like that you can't actually adjust the bonnet on the hinge um, so that's what we've done and it seems to be a lot better it's not actually touching the windscreen as such now it's literally just about touching so I think I'll just get one of them limiters or find out how to limit these to stop opening all the way like, or extending all the way full but yeah if you if you have got um bonnet struts and you do want to raise like space the bonnet out then that's what I'd recommend you know what I'm talking about because you see it from the start I'll show a little photo and like now and put a little ring but yeah you want to run the bracket this side do away with that nylon washer and just bolt it as normal so yeah so we'll just have to figure out a way now um but yeah just run it on the inside if you guys don't have this problem i mean don't get the struts just <laughs> just run just run the spacer and that'll do you because this has been a palaver because now i need to get my bloody windscreen fixed and my bonnet which i was going to do anyway but anyways guys um let's have a little look with it shut i've had to adjust the bonnet latch up so just be where you normally just undo these two 13s and pull it up okay now you can see everyone's going to tell me that my bonnet is now open <laughs> it doesn't look too bad to be fair not opposed to it i've got another car that you'll be seeing in at some point I've got another car as well that you'll probably be seeing at some point which has the bonnet raised and doesn't look too sad. I'm quite a fan of it, I know a lot of people hate it, but it's not your car, so stuff ya. Okay, um, sorry it was a bit of a jumpy video, it's quite a, I'd say a simple task when you haven't got bloody bonnet struts. Um, but yeah, if you guys didn't know how to do it, hopefully you have a rough idea now. But um, don't make the same make mistakes that I make, hence why I do these videos for you. Anyways, enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a bit of a short one. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you later.